Hello world, I'm currently in sunny California in Palm Springs for the international media drive of the not all new but massively facelifted BMW X7 which was only launched in 2019 just a few years ago and uh, here we are already with uh, a facelift and uh, as I say it's not all new <clears throat> but it's uh, quite a facelift I mean first impressions looking at the front of the car it's uh, I mean almost a totally new front design <laughs> the kidney grill they have not made that uh, any larger they've, they've kept the size but of course the lights is is uh, really gives a, a lot of presence and that's a whole new design it sparked uh, a bit of polarization and controversy certainly with the split design me personally I love it and I find the more you look at it and the more you see it the more the more it grows on you uh, and, and it makes a big difference from seeing just seeing it in pictures and then when you actually see it in person it's 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 a it's a really beautiful car so this is of course got the M performance kit so this is the M760i and uh, so this is the front of the car we'll go around to the side here I mean I think the other thing that uh, doesn't really need to be said need to be said but it it, it is a big car uh, of course this uh, the X7 was was BMW's first entrance into this segment of uh, luxury seven-seater cars and uh, it's it's uh, got a very good uh, response from the market and I also found out from the press conference this morning that uh, a lot of the people buying this car from from the, the, the previous model were a lot of the customers had never owned a BMW before so it's really opened up for BMW a lot of new uh, a lot of new customers uh, so let's just go around to the back so we can show you a bit more of the exterior so beautiful design here at the back very slick very bold i mean overall the design of this car as i say it caused a lot of controversy uh but i think you'll find this is something that's gonna that's gonna really grow on people over time because i think a lot of the cars on this road on the road today they a lot of them look very similar and uh this for sure when you see this on the road it really stands out and whether they like it or not, it turns people's heads. We've actually got another X7 pulling alongside us here in a, a very funky blue, sort of matte blue. Wow, that looks great with the, with the black wheels. Anyway, back onto the white one. Uh, so the, the colorway on this is also pretty sexy. Of course, we've got this sort of glossy white with the black wheels and the black trims with the diffuser at the back and the, the, window, uh, the window trims. And... Uh, Let's step inside of the car. All right, getting inside of the car. Yeah, it's safe to say the interior is quite remarkable. We've got the huge panoramic roof, which has been stretched also at the back. So the third row in the back of the car can also enjoy all the, the beautiful views and the sunlight from the roof. The seats are beautiful we got this sort of quilted design and it's also perforated the seats are I've just had a, about an hour driving this thing and it's safe to say they are as comfortable as they look so getting behind the wheel classic BMW design wheel you know everything feels like it's in the right place we've got the big one screen that's sort of split in the middle so you've got the driver gauge here and then you've got your infotainment here which as ever with BMW super easy to use and navigate your way around got the controls here here we've got a new uh, a new design for the uh, the sort of the shifter which the, you see these uh, little shifters which they also have in the Porsche models these days which it's growing on me I'm still not too sure about it but what I like about this is it gives you a lot more space you don't have a big knob here that sort of gets in the way when you're trying to when you're driving and you're trying to reach over into the other reach over to the other buttons and controls um plenty of compartments and storage you know you've got all your usb-c charging points and you've got the cup holders here you've also got a traditional usb here and um get up close to the wind uh, the door panels here you've got the carbon fiber features you've got this really cool metal mesh feature over the uh, the speakers 
if you look up close, we've got the uh, nice stitching. I mean, everything is just very premium, very, very high quality. Oh, this is also, okay, so we've got the carbon, um, the carbon fiber touches here, which runs all the way along the dash. And uh, this feature as well, I love, this is um, uh, the, the sort of like lines which are on all of the X7s, but of course this is a, an M performance model. So here we have the M, and if you have the standard 740, it would say XM instead of the M. So the last few things I'll say about this car, uh, about this X7, of course I need to talk about the performance and what's under this big hood. This of course is the M performance kit, so it's the M60i. So under the hood, it's got a 4.4 litre V8 turbocharged engine, which kicks out 523 horses and uh, it drives tremendously. I mean, to be honest, it drives exactly how I expected it to drive. I, you, you never drive a BMW uh, and, and you're let down with, you know, any of its handling or the precision. I mean, the Germans are just so, so precise with the cars that they produce. So there's a lot of power and uh, you know, when you've got it in comfort on these big roads in California, it's it's a very comfortable, smooth drive. It is a massive car, but when you're behind the wheel, it feels somewhat compact. Um, putting it into Sport and Sport Plus transforms the car. I mean, this thing really roars. You put your foot down, and uh, whilst this thing looks like a tank, it goes like a missile. So it's a lot of fun to drive. Of course, this is a family car. It's not the sort of car I would have for myself as a, as a young single man, but... Uh, Overall, very impressed. I love the design. I know it's causing some sort of uh, a split in the middle with people that love it and hate it, but I believe over time, more and more people are gonna love uh, the look of this car. Uh, BMW, I believe, are setting a trend. And uh, of course, the overall synopsis on the driving of this car, absolutely tremendous.